the second edition of Makeover Monday, I'm doing personalized mugs and I'm using a black Sharpie and a gold Sharpie. This first mug I'm doing is for my husband. I'm just writing Mr. B on it. So I'm writing out the letters here. They're very thin. So I'm thickening them up to make them look like block letters. The thing about the Sharpies is that these are water-based Sharpies and I searched online and it said that you should be using oil-based, but I just used what I had and I called the craft store to see if they had any special paint to do this with and they said any Sharpie will work. So I'm gonna test this out and see if the mug will last. I know for sure these wouldn't survive in a dishwasher, but washing by hand should be fine. So I'll try that and I'll give an update once I wash them. So I'm drawing a line down the side where the handle is and I'm trying to make this a thick line and it's coming out a little bit um, uneven. So I got some tape, put that around the two sides and then thicken the line up that way to make it a little bit straighter. Next, I wanted to put a border around the bottom, so I got a piece of tape and wrapped that around the base of it to make the line straight at the bottom as well. Here I'm just adding a little more detail to the handle and I did this to the back of the handle and the front of it. I decided to draw a tuxedo design on the back of the mug, so I'm using this paper, folding it into a triangle shape to make the stencil for the tuxedo. I used a Q-tip with a little alcohol on it to clean up any mistakes. And his is all set. Next I got started on my own and I just wrote random bites of a sweet life on mine with some hearts and I didn't film it because my memory card got full. But you bake these at 350 degrees for a half an hour and you just let them cool completely. And then I just wrote over them again because the, the ink kind of faded. So here I am just going over it again and then I baked them again for another 30 minutes at 350 degrees. And this is the final result. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more Makeover Mondays.